And tonight there's something new to watch in the tropics. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer here now with a look. Craig. Yeah, that's right. Now, Sally, no more. Just the remnants of Sally up there pushing off the East Coast. But down in the western and southwest Gulf of Mexico, already we've got another system we're talking about. You can see it bubbling and percolating here through the day. Not that organized yet. You can make out a little bit of a swirl there and the thunderstorms kind of late in the satellite loop. Now, during the afternoon, hurricane owners went down to investigate it and they found, in fact, that it had southeasterly winds on one side and northwesterly winds on the other side, making a kind of a big circle there, but basically a low pressure area enough to qualify as a tropical depression. So there it is, tropical depression now number 22. Winds at 35 miles an hour, moving to the northeast at 3, and it's just uh, about 235 miles east of Tampico, Mexico. Here is the threat cone, forecast to drift slowly to the northwest, for, northeast rather, forecast to become tropical storm, and then Hurricane Wilfred, we're to the last name of the 2020 season, and you can see the threat comb there as there's a lot of uncertainty forecast to kind of meander here in the western Gulf of Mexico. There's also Category 4 Hurricane Teddy out here and that tropical wave we've been watching. Now, the good news with that tropical wave, models are increasingly taking it to the northwest. If it were not going to turn and just head in a straight direction, it would be along that green line there, but you can see the models trending more and more to the north, so we're feeling very good about that. Uh, more on Teddy. It's going to be a big, big wave maker that's coming up. Craig, thanks a lot.